Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Pro Wrestling Show presents the Raw Ring Report. And what Monday Night Raw Ring Report we have for you coming up here on the Raw Ring Report. Yes, indeed. We have a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about Drew McIntyre demanding answers from MVP on who had tagged him last week with former Retribution member T-Bar and, and Ace. I forgot his name. T-Bar and, and Rick Ace or something. They attacked Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre demand answers from MVP on what he did to him last week. Also, Charlotte Flair. I mean, Charlotte Flair was in action. And look at this. Charlotte Flair doing this damage right here. Attacking a referee for no apparent reason. And also, we got a new ruling on what Charlotte will be suffering coming up sooner rather than later on what's her uh, punishment as well as an unlikely force in Raw. Also, a lot going on, too, this week. As we talk about this, Marlo Ronaldo will be doing the Impact. To be, well, he's going to be a special guest commentator for Impact for their in rebellion pay-per-view to call the main event between Ken Omega and Rich Swan. Let's see. Hope, hopefully, they can get, land Marlo. And a lot of stuff. All this and more when the Pro Wrestling Show presents the Raw Ring Report, and it starts right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Pro Wrestling Show presents the Raw Ring Report. We talk about highlights from this tonight's Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw was that. It was so so, but it wasn't as usual. But first thing first, joining the conversation using the hashtag Pro Wrestling Show here on Connect. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is can. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on the Pro Wrestling Show as we talk about the Monday Night Raw Ring Report. The well, Monday Night Raw Ring Report, Raw kicked off with former WWE champion Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre demanding answers on what had happened to him last week on Raw when he was ambushed and attacked by T. Bar Mace of formerly Retribution. Well, Drew demanded that MVP comes out here and tells him why he did what he did. Drew wouldn't leave until the same old scenario happened again. That Drew got attacked again by T. Bar and Mace again. And MVP using him, using them as they his hitman, using to take out Drew McIntyre before Bobby Lashley have his impending WWE Championship match at WrestleMania Backlash, where Drew will challenge Bobby Lashley for the WWE title at Backlash. And you see right here, T Bar and Mace walking out with MVP. You got to wonder, like, um, if. MVP should tell them, like, if you get the job done, you can join the Hurt Business. And, you know, make them up, be refreshed, be remake over and stuff. Instead of being, like, you know, company, then do nothing with them. And then all of a sudden, they're coming out swinging. So I don't know what WD Creators' mind is and their theory is on that. Well, former um, Hurt Business members, Justin Benjamin and Cedric Alexander was in action as well as they went against the returning Viking Raiders. And the Viking Raiders done too many, done so much damage. I think Shelton and um, Cedric was trying to combat them like they did last week, but it didn't work this time too far. And you see right here, they're trying to um, get the blows, but the one, two, three right here, the finishing touches right here, got the win for the Viking Raiders over Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. It's like they jobbed them, and then they was part of the herd business. Why they couldn't just stay in the herd business? That's just my thing. My theory is keep if if you got the bigger a uh, super group of the herd business, but MVP stated that the herd business is him and Bobby Lashley. Well, you got T Bar and Mace, make them part of the official members of the herd business. But you 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 took your two hot workers. Um, Benjamin and Alexander, you took them out, and you really didn't got nobody to replace. 
So it uh, is what it is. Also, former women's champion Charlotte Flair, who returned last week on Raw, has a Vandela issue with, with women's champion Rhea Ripley and Oscar after Charlotte felt like she was snubbed at WrestleMania, not being in the women's championship match. Well, Charlotte will get her chance and opportunity in a WrestleMania rematch for WrestleMania New Orleans where Charlotte defeated Oscar. And you remember, Oscar was the winner of the Royal Rumble. Oscar chose Charlotte at the time who was the champion. And Oscar um, didn't defeat Charlotte. Charlotte defeated her and ended her undefeated reign. So uh, we they had a little chatter that, to, that tonight, which was really about nothing. It was just about Charlotte wanted to prove something. Oscar wanted to prove something. Oscar called Charlotte, you know what, a B-I-T-C-H. And we'll leave it like that. Also in action, former United States champion Riddle was in action against Randy Orton. Randy Orton was scheduled to take on Braun Strowman, but changes change, as they say, subject to change. But Randy Orton went against Riddle, and it was a highly contested match. Randy Orton putting all the stops on Riddle until Riddle countered Randy Orton and pinned Riddle, pinned Randy Orton one, two, three. So look for Randy Orton versus Riddle going down the far with Randy Orton getting pinned by Riddle feeling like that was a fluke and Randy Orton wants that win. So look for them to feud down the future. So look for that. Also, women's tag team champion Nia Jax was in action with Shayna Baszler against Naomi and Lana. Naomi and Lana took advantage of a situation that Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke had left. And um, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke was trying to distract um, Nia Jax, Nia Jax. Got her, not trying to keep her head in the game, and I just got distracted. And wanted to focus on the two blondes, and um, next thing you know, um, Mandy, uh, Lana, and Nata- Lana and Naomi pick up a win and score a win. They might get a future women's tag team title shot down the road. You know, probably Nick, or this may be WrestleMania backlash. Also, Miz along tag with his wife Maurice. Did Miz, Miz, Miz TV about returning back on USA? Well, I call them the USA Power Couple since they've been on USA. Miz just touting, and next thing you know, and mind you, we didn't see John Morrison. What was going on with John Morrison? They didn't even mention him. So, I don't know. Lashley wasn't even mentioned either. Lashley wasn't there neither. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was awful. They got rewritten because they were saying WWE was trying to. Um, at the last minute changes on rewriting the storyline. But um, Miz and uh, Maurice had champagne. Damien Priest wept him, welcomed himself to drink some champagne. But Priest had, um, <laughs> he didn't like their taste of champagne. You know how they say, champagne wishes carry our dreams and stuff. <laughs> but um, Damien Priest didn't like that. Led to a match later on between Miz and uh, Priest. So we'll get to that later. Also, um, Drew McIntyre was in action in a handicap match against Mason T Bar. You know, we told you that Mason T Bar ambushed Drew in the beginning of the show, and they did last week as well. And they did that same move they did with MVP trying to use him as his insurance policies. But lastly, well, I guess, well, yeah. Well, you can see right here this suplex, a double suplex on last on um, Drew until Braun Strowman came out, made the say. Braun Strowman teamed with Drew to take on Mason T Bar. And you can see right here, um, McIntyre re- removed Mason's um, mask. And Mace Mass was D.O. Madden. And, um, and then Braun Strowman removed T-Bar's mask, which led to being Dominic Dajovic. So they won the match against Drew, but we don't know what's going on forward with that. So we have to wait and see next week on Raw. Also, the um, New Day was in action as well. New Day was in action against Elias. I think you see that guitar riff where um, Elias was – was trying to play his music and um Xavier Woods came into the in the fray and 
you know, said um, something that he made Elias mad. And you can see right here Xavier Woods trying to point at Elias. <laughs> but um, Elias and them won their match. So this rivalry continues on further between the New Day, Elias, and Rocker. Um, also, to Miz went against Damian Priest with my recent corner. We told you earlier that Damian Priest spat at the didn't spat at the Miz and didn't like the Miz's tight drink. And um, Priest went against Miz one on one, which is fact by Bad Bunny. And um, Damian Priest got the win over Miz without you know with. Tried to get Maurice's help with Miz with his wife, like did last week, but that didn't turn out so well this week. So Damian Priest get the win over Miz, and I think this rivalry is far from over between these two. And they got to wonder what um John Morris got to wonder about that. Also, United States champion, new United States champion, um, Sheamus was in action. He did an open challenge at the suggestion of WWE official Adam Pierce. So Sheamus won the end about it, and Berto Carrillo, Carrillo stood it up. He won the challenge, but it just didn't boil down to him. He got beat up for his trouble. And Berto, I don't know what, what they're going to do with Sheamus. Is Sheamus going to be just, you know, giving the opportunity left and right and just picking the bones as he goes? So we have to wait and see on that. Also, Oscar went against Charlotte Flair, WrestleMania rematch. Wasn't nothing to be determined who was going to be the number one contender. You can tell it could have been the number one contender match, but it wasn't. It was just a, a match one on one, former tag team partners. At Charles Flair still feels some type of way of not being in the main event at WrestleMania in the women's title pitch on Raw. Well, Charlotte delivered a running spirit to Oscar, and um, Rhea Ripley got involved. Rhea Ripley was at ringside trying to watch the match and deserve the match. For her trouble, she gets. Um, she calls Charlotte her match. Charlotte flips out and go crazy and go bananas. She attacks the referee. She snaps. Charlotte Flair has snapped. She attacked the referee, mounting on him. And um, Charlotte, ugh, Charlotte just ain't, it ain't a good look. And then talking about that, Charlotte had got suspended by Adam Pierce indefinitely, and she had to pay $10,000 or putting her hands on the referee for unprofessional conduct. So that's the ruling we have got. So Charlotte, I don't know if she ain't going to be in the women's tie pitch anytime soon. So this leaves uh, another WrestleMania rematch between Rila Ripley and Oscar. So who knows? Charlotte might come back in. Who knows? Charlotte might have something up her sleeve. So we just have to wait and see on that. But Charlotte, like I said, she got um, suspended. Definitely, and she had to pay a $10,000 fine. Ooh, we got $10,000 to give <laughs> for like that. So I guess Charlotte do. All right, that is the Raw Ring Report. Let's um, move on quickly for Hot Topics. On Hot Topics this week, um, WWE producer and TNA founder Jeff Jarrett will be joining Comrade Thompson. Comrade Thompson has a huge lineup of Wrestling personalities such as Eric Bischoff, Tony Schiavone, Jim Ross, Arn Anderson, Kurt Angle. Um, the list is more and more. And now Jeff Jarrett joins that list. Um, he'll be doing my world. He'll talk about his time at TNA, WWE, WCW, and any other federations that we can name. So look for Jeff Jarrett that podcast. I'm going to be listening to it real carefully and intently. Also, speaking of Jeff Jarrett's former uh, company that he founded, Impact Wrestling, Impact has announced that um, former WWE play-by-play guy, um, SmackDown play-by-play guy, Mauro Ranallo, world now color com- color analyst, well, announcer, he will be calling the Rebellion main event featuring Rich Grom versus Ken Omega, title for title, the AWA title, the, AW, the AEW title, Versus the impact type. So something's got to give between Omega and Swan in that match. So um, look for that next week when we do Rebellion Predict the Outcome, a special impact Rebellion for Predict the Outcome. 
So uh, look for that. Also, we talked to you late uh, earlier last week about Samoa Joe and the rest of the WWE superstars being released. Um, Samoa Joe, my my thoughts on that is Samoa Joe has put in the work. He was close being the Universal our WWE champion. Never came to fruition, but Joe did his best. So, um, like I said, whatever company gets him, they say Impact interested. AEW might be interested, but you can tell, you can tell Samoa Joe is a phenomenal talent. He probably won the wrestling, but he was good commentating. I just didn't, didn't get why would they just let him go like that? And I understand they want to bring Pat McAfee and bring new eyeballs, but keep what you got. And he was one of the best commentators to me throughout the year. And then they kept him at WrestleMania to commentate. And then the next couple of days later, Oh, here goes your pink slip. That's that's messed up. But it is what it is. Also, NXT last week, we saw the second wave of the women's evolution. You see right here, these three women are now current WWE women's champions representing their specific brands. Bianca Belair represents SmackDown as the SmackDown women's title holder. Brilla Ripley represents Raw as his title holder. Um, race out regardless Raquel Gonzalez as the NXT Women's Champion. These three WWE Women's Champs, I mean, it's like this is the second wave of the women's evolution. We had the four horse women, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, and Bayley are the first wave. But the second wave is coming through with this new era of women's wrestling coming through. So look for that. All right. All right, y'all. So, oh, yeah, we show this to Triple H, Tammy's little shot. So, we'll have tomorrow the NXT re pre pre predicted, no, NXT re report, I meant to say, same predicted outcome, but NXT re report tomorrow covering highlights of NXT. We did so with the Monday Night Raw brand tonight. So, for me being Kendrick Dixon, so long. We'll see you tomorrow for NXT. See you later.